Okay, 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 okay. So, I wanted to show you the new arrangement of my daily skincare. Um, before I used to have, hang on, I'm just going to do that. So, before I used to have this little thing here, I just took a shower, feeling so fresh. I'm feeling so good. Oh my god. So, I used to have this little thing here, but it was. It's too small, so it doesn't fit all the skincare that I needed in one day, like in morning, at, in the morning and at night. And I would often have to go into this drawer here, which is full of all the other skincare that I don't use on a daily basis. And I thought, um, yeah, it's a little bit problematic. So I took this one away um, yesterday, and I actually put down this tray, which I got from Umbra, and I picked this tray up from not take a lot i picked it up from superbalist yeah i picked it up from superbalist and in here it's just pretty much your cotton pads cotton rounds and your what is that this thing q-tips and all of that um this is that elizabeth arden white tea perfume is pretty much like a daily when i'm sitting at home daily scent i bought like two of those at once because I really enjoy this perfume, but I love the compact size of it. That's why I keep it in my bathroom. Um, and here I uh, put my daily skincare. The only thing that is not here is my nighttime uh, moisturizers, which typically now at night, recently, I've been using this, which is the Laneige uh, Water Sleeping Mask. I absolutely love it. So it looks pretty nice now. Uh, keeps everything that I'm currently using in one space and I can use it and my mirror is right there hi 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 the only thing that is not there are my cleansers which most of them are in the shower and I just took a shower as I said so yeah it's fine when it's there yeah all good in the hood all right let me go downstairs and get myself uh, something to eat or should I go to the shops first maybe the shops yeah um hey hey so i just got back from woolies and um i wanted to do a little bit of a grocery haul y'all are weird like that y'all like grocery hauls and for me it's just like it's not that deep it's just it's just food <laughs> So I had to go and pick up a couple of that stuff because uh, I'm rolling solo. So um, I had to pick up some of the things that I like. Of course, you can see I've got a beanie on uh, to cover up the trash that is my hair right now. I've had a busy day sort of cleaning up and tidying everything up and changing linen and all of that. So I wanted to... Uh, pick up the groceries so that I don't literally have to leave the house for the rest of this week um, because I, I really don't eat that much. <laughs> I'm weird like that. I mean, it's it's literally, what what time is it? It's probably like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock right now and I haven't eaten today. So, um, yeah, I cooked yesterday, so I'll probably just eat the leftovers of that. But I did want to share with you what I picked up from Woolies today. And that's what I'm going to show you now because you guys seem to be into that kind of stuff. I hope the lockdown is treating you well so far. All right, so starting over here, I picked up some water. I picked up three of these, but I left the other two in the car because I really couldn't be bothered right now, okay? And then I got myself some orange juice because I really, really do enjoy just a nice 100% orange juice. The Woolworths yogurt, uh, you've seen this in many of my videos, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, these are standard. I really enjoy this with the muesli. I probably have muesli maybe once a week because it's got a lot of sugar. So I have it maybe uh, once or twice a week at the very most. Um, and then here I've got the... Let me stuff. So here I've got the vegetables, the roasting vegetables. I enjoy this with some meat. I don't need to have it with anything else apart from meat, so I'm fine. Um, and here I've got uh, some bacon. This is back bacon, as you can see. Um, <laughs> and then here, here I've got the salami sticks because I really do enjoy salami sticks as a snack. I really do enjoy them along with some grapes as well. Um, uh, down here I've got some avocados. I have a lot of avocados within a week. Uh, I'll probably go through maybe three of these. 
there's four here, but I'll probably go through maybe three of them because today it's like avocado on toast and then it's avocado in a salad and then it's avocado blah, blah, blah. And then I've got uh, pickled fish. The only reason why I bought pickled fish is because around Easter time, pickled fish is a huge thing in South Africa around Easter. I did not know this. I knew that we eat pickled fish. We eat fish generally on Good Friday, uh, being Catholic. So on Good Friday, I eat fish. I didn't know pickle fish was a thing. But however, these hake fillets are absolutely delicious. So I picked these up. I haven't had them in a while. So this would be great with a salad. It would be just great as a little bit of like a lunch snack as well. Pretty good. Uh, picked up some strawberries as well. I noticed that the big... Strawberries that I normally get team, seem to uh, run out after some time. So I opted to just buy um, a smaller pack of these strawberries. Um, raspberries. Great. Um, um, reduced fat cream cheese, which is really, really nice on crackers and on things like Provita. I really enjoy it on crackers and Provita. I've got some crackers i've got a lot of crackers that's the thing and then coconut milk i really enjoy using when i am cooking curries or when i am cooking uh pastas like cream pastas i really like in like putting in coconut milk as opposed to fresh cream uh this is the reduced fat coconut cream coconut milk um here we've got some figs these are adam's figs really enjoy these on crackers as well so like sometimes i'll add a layer of cream cheese like a very tiny layer of cream cheese and then add figs on top and then drizzle some honey on top it's delicious and then i've got here some uh button mushrooms i like the simple mushrooms i don't like the very complicated mushrooms i really like adding this to a breakfast i like adding this to a, a beef stroganoff whatever i really really enjoy that and then moving on here uh baby spinach finally got baby spinach and not uh lettuce so that's good very, very happy about that my brags is pretty much on its last legs I, I i'm pretty sure that tomorrow it'll be done and then i'll be stressed out uh got some lemons because i drink lemon water every single day hot lemon water every single day maybe like two or three cups and yeah and then instead of bread i opt for rolls so i really enjoy the seeded brown um rolls and these are um i enjoy make sandwich i enjoy making sandwiches with these like lay of spinach maybe cheese maybe tomato uh drizzle on something blah blah i just go i i i, I do it as i go um extra bananas there's bananas in the fruit basket over there however um uh, these are probably going to be added to smoothies within the next two days or something so that's fine these i'm going to put in the fridge and hope that they don't brown very quickly hopefully and my favorite favorite sweet potatoes these are the cara orange ones i'm running out i've got like one pack left and it's got like two of them in there so i decided to pick these up and this should last me literally maybe at the at the very most it'll last me just under two weeks i won't have to go to the shops for two weeks almost two weeks and that makes me happy because i don't like coming out of the shops and i lost a nail but we're not going to talk about that right now so let me pack these away and i'll talk to you afterwards if not afterwards maybe much later on in the day who knows So you might be a little bit surprised, like, why does it look so ugly? Oh, my God. The only reason behind that is because there's more spinach than there is berries. So it doesn't necessarily make the color the color of the berries. More than anything, it mixes the berries and the spinach together, and then it comes out with this. But there's more spinach in it than berries, which is typically how I like it. I would prefer more of the greens than the berries. The berries are in there just for a touch like literally a smidgen of sweetness it's not um i don't like things that are too sweet and everyone who knows me knows this i don't like things that are too sweet 
it doesn't for me it actually tastes better than the normal green smoothie that i make i don't even add much banana to my green smoothies anymore like i just do spinach and milk and that's pretty much it uh sometimes spinach and water but i feel like it doesn't have a little bit of creaminess when there's no um milk in it uh sometimes i do spinach and avocado and i can literally take the smoothie exactly like that like i don't have a problem with it um so today i'm having this one um this is my breakfast basically Okay, so I'm not too hungry for dinner, so I pretty much just um, cut up some lemon and added it to some boiling water. I'm really not hungry. Probably might have a fruit if I really feel like later on. I mean, it is still 6 o'clock. Um, so, I just finished editing um this video that you are watching right now i just finished editing it now and i'm about to upload it major major apologies for the abrupt ending with um when i was making the, the hot water and lemon but my phone rang and i never got to editing it again after that so sorry but i'm here in my bed right now i'm editing it and i want to get it out today it's it's a it's what time is it? it's 10 past 8 in the morning and I really want to get out this vlog today and then in the next couple of days get out another video. So the vlog is officially ending.